Quick little update. I'm 180 gallon. It's been a while. I'm in the middle of making a sump right now. My sump seems to have cracked and I was trying to put in this new protein skimmer. So I was able to buy some cement, some plastic cement and put it together with another piece of acrylic on top of it. But I can't leave it like that for too long. So let me show you my tank quick. And I'm gonna show you the what I'm doing right now. In total I got 39 fish, seven different kind of shrimps, about six starfish, one clam. I got me a pair of um, Wyoming whites. There's one over here. That's an amphiest there. My, my blenny. In front of the gargonia. This is my smokularis clownfish with a, I call it a watermelon red bubble tip because it has the green and it has the red. But you can't really see the green, only if you turn off the, the white lights. Let me see. I should do a video with just the blues on. But that'll be for a different day. My smokularis guy. He's paired up with this black and white Darwin. I got about 10 blue damsels. One cardinal, it was two, but one of them bit the dust. Little colony of, it's not Australian Duncans, a different kind of Duncans, so I don't know the exact name of them. See my LG Blenny going to work, that's all he does all day, keeps my tank super clean. A mimic tang. I also got me a pair of um, leopard rasses. These guys are so cool. I saw it in my boy Dub's house. Shout out to Dub's. He had a pair, so I had to get me a pair. The pair is doing great. These guys like to hide in the floor and sleep in the sand. Also got me a red devil. I didn't have him in the last one. And I got me a new um, blue throat. My other ones died when I came into my tank transfer. Don't know why, but. Only fish that died, both of them, the male and the female. Got me a set of grandis. A company with some carpet anemones. There's two of them. There's one down here. It's kind of hard to see them, but you see them there. A tube anemone. Some red shrooms. A lot of them I'm trying to get rid of. I'm trying to get rid of everything that's dark now. That's my new goal. Look at this chalice. It's beautiful. So the coral beauty just went under. I'm starting up my cap collection again. Got me an orange cap. I had it for like about a month. It's been doing great. Here's the other half of the cap. The cap was actually one big cap that it broke. My purple tang. A rock of AOGs. Nuclear grains, fizzy something. Andy told me I got these from Andy yesterday. Fizzy ladies, some blasters that fell off. I gotta put back up. Some leathers that fell off. I gotta put back up. So I get too much GSP now. I'm about to start trading the whole rock. Probably get rid of the rock chunk that I have on the upper left side first. I'm also trying to sell off some of the zinnias. Get some more money for Black Friday. Just went to the swap, kind of went a little bit crazy. Don't want to say how much I spent. But have you noticed the, the big blue hippo is gone? Had to get rid of the guy. He was getting too big, knocking everything down. Started getting aggressive with the uh, blue throat. So, had to get rid of him. Got $140 for him, so that's not bad. Some of my stuff from the frag swap. I put most of my stuff in the back rack, and I also, I also um, glued a few of my things up. Cause that logo, the logo shines nice. See, one, two, three, four, five. The five rows on the left, going all the way back, are other stuff I got from the frag swap. 
Got some products I want to let go out. I like three pallets of Darth Maul. I got the real Darth Maul, so I'm trying to grow those out. Got me some Yodas. Got me some Wows. Got me some Supernovas. Got me some Godfathers. Got me some Blue Agaves. Got me some Space Monsters. Got me some Reverse Space Monsters. This is my Duncan colony, Australian Duncans. This is about like 60 heads here. My frog spawns are getting huge now that I started feeding all these Anthias Mysis shrimp. I've pretty much noticed the colony double in about like two months, no lie. I guess the Mysis shrimp, because I'm feeding twice a day Mysis shrimp. This is my Melanis, Melanaris Ras. I got two purple small hippos instead of one big one. But I'm gonna try to buy two more. I like the way they school out. It's so another coral I want to get rid of. These are devil's teeth. It's about 100 polyps, 150 polyps. I need to get those out. My yellow milly. My bird's nest. This is my sour apple bird's nest. I gotta swap. My purple cap. I had him kind of high. He was turning white on me, but. Now he's doing much better. He's turning purple again. Bergonia. Got some red hornets over there, some Chun Bong, some 24Ks, some blue hornets, some magicians, some pink zippers in the back, another SPS piece I just got, some more blue hornets, some more zinnias because these guys are growing everywhere. These are some dark moths but the dark kind, not the orange kind. Colony of Sunny D's. Some of them seem to have changed under the light. But they have their days. Sometimes they come out looking straight Sunny D's. You see a few of them in there, and sometimes they just change. This is my Emerald Mall right here in the middle, the green one by itself on the flag behind the SPS. My War Coral, which is the big ass piece. I got some Wows back there. My torch, as you can see, I've moved a few things around. So I've been getting more things and gotta make space. Looks like a nuclear green gorgonia. Got a poor one. Can't wait for it to grow. This guy's, this bird's nest fell on top of the aching in the bottom, a canthias or whatever it's called. And you see who won the fight. This guy's perfect. This guy's dying. Love this rock. These guys are amazing. More zinnias. My mandarin. As you can see, the carpet and enemy is not here no more. That's where it was at before. I was losing a few fish. Had to get rid of him. Didn't know if it was him. Didn't know if they were dying. So, I'm not going to risk it. My cleaner ass. My Tenetti Tang. It's a beautiful guy. I love this guy. This guy and the purple tang are the, are the ones I like the most. Oh, and these amphias too. I like, I like all my fish. This guy wasn't here before. Got my Queen Antheus. One of the hardest fish to keep alive, they say, as into what they say in Google, and I've had her alive for like two months already. Only wants to eat mice and shrimp though, that's why I still have to start feeding mice and shrimp. Some 
It's a Kila Sunrise right there. I don't know what these guys are. These are bubble gums. These are tutti frutis. This is supposed to be Tony the Great. More Tony the Great. Green cap that fell off. These are from Cherry Corals. I don't know what they are. I bought them when they were closed. He didn't want to sell them to me. Still gave him 20 bucks because I saw the outside of it. I saw it was something awesome. Now they're starting to open up. Golden Moss. Don't know what those are. Space Monsters. Don't know what these are. Hawaiian Delights. Um, vampires. Don't know what this guy is. He's still closed. These are the Sajan Saijans. Got these from Juggernaut. Super Saiyans. Sorry. I think this is a. Uh, it's not the Wow. It's. I don't even know. My blue games I still haven't opened up. Well, the, back to the main purpose of the video. Uh, the tank. I was trying to change the protein skimmer, so I put in this one. This is a Aqua C whatever 180, and I got it for a trade for some polyps. So I figured it was kind of good. Has the thing to collect the, the skim. I put this big jug right here. I mean, the skim's pretty good, but I couldn't get it in. It was kind of like uncomfortable, so I had to like try to jerk it in. And what I ended up doing was I cracked it. See? I mean, I took a uh, acrylic and I fixed it, and it's not gonna leak, but I don't want it. I mean, that's just me now. Yeah, I put some rocks at the bottom to build up the protein skimmer because it has to be about eight to nine inches from the water it's really finicky I got an Eheim pump for my old protein skimmer I got rid of the pump because it was too loud so I got an Eheim 1262 so that's like pretty much no noise 